Prospecting for oil in New Zealand dates back to 1865 when deposits were found near the surface in the Taranaki district. Today, pumps are still working at New Plymouth, winning the black gold from the shallow wells. A further oil search is now underway in Taranaki. This is the first step to survey a 100-mile line in this area. Test bores are being drilled every 700 yards to find out what lies beneath the surface. No oil is expected from these bores. They're merely shot holes for explosive charges. This is the first stage in trying to discover whether oil does lie thousands of feet below. A stream of mud is squirted through the bit, both to cool the drill and to bring up samples of rock from below the ground. As the hole gets deeper, extra lengths are added to the drill. The holes are sunk till hard rock is struck. Dynamite will then be dropped down them, and when exploded, will send shock waves through the earth. As soon as the bore is finished, the charge is laid. Microphones are placed in the ground at 30-yard intervals. These will record the shock waves. Wires from the microphones are then connected to the control truck. Inside the truck, the seismograph is prepared for the shock waves. The explosion will be underground and only the water which confines the charge will be thrown up. Science has captured the secrets of the Earth below. The chart looks like a new wallpaper, but in trained hands, it's as good as a photograph. Field work over, the back room boys go to work. The charts are photographed for easier handling. By working out from the charts how the rock strata run below the surface, geologists can determine the best places to drill for oil.